Longtime referees I spoke with from different sports say there's often an expectation for referees to be perfect. When it comes to youth sports, they say parents want their child to excel, coaches are under pressure to win, and so sometimes referees become scapegoats. Instead of beating on the glass and screaming at them, you know, the parents got to maybe take a step back. Harry Petterly with the USA Hockey Officiating Program tells me the number of referees who are teens and preteens is on the decline. Prior to COVID, he said the league had roughly 4,000 registered officials. Now that's down to about 1,700. For one, he said fewer kids are playing hockey these days, so there are fewer games. There's the issue, and everybody's heard of it. It's happened in soccer. It's happened in other sports. Uh, the abuse that is coming from coaches, parents, uh, it, it takes its toll on a young kid. So young, young lady or young, young man that's out there refereeing. Referees subjected to belligerence. Well, it happened three times this year where you have parents that are banging on the glass, yelling at the official for a missed call. And I go up and I try to educate that parent. Hey, we've got a 13-year-old kid out here. Like Petterly, Carlos Felino has about four decades of refereeing experience. Both say the abuse has become more prevalent in the last 10 years or so. Felino is in soccer. Youth used to think that it was a good way to make uh, a few extra dollars. It was a good way to do that. Uh, but again, with all the yelling and, and abusing that they get, it, 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 it's not worth it. What impact does that have on, on, on the referee who's trying to do their job and, and presumably trying, trying to make the best calls? Just think about it. If you, if you go out on the field and, and you make a call and 50% of the people don't like that call and they start yelling at you, you may be thinking about it, that particular call, and not worry about or not think about what's coming up next. Creating a domino effect. Felino says it's a cultural shift that needs adjusting. Petterly says education and communication are part of a possible solution to bringing respect for referees back to youth sports. Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News.